friends, Nibs again. Out here in the garage, doing a little bit of goofing around tonight. And uh, <laughs> I've been working out of town for the last couple of weeks. Uh, I haven't been able to get into my, my local gun shops and uh, say hi to the <laughs> establishments uh, locally here to me. But uh, stopped in a couple of them this afternoon <clears throat> and uh, actually came away with some pretty cool uh, bring homes for to show you guys for tonight. Um, the first one, uh, first thing, my uh, buddy Mickey, he's the manager at the one shop. <clears throat> he gave, gave me a, uh, uh, he said out of his personal collection, a uh, old vintage tin of Marksman pellets. You've seen how I kind of like these vintage tins. This is a full tin. This is another one that actually came with a another gun and uh, it actually was full of pellets as well but the but the tin was kind of rusted so I dumped the pellets into another tin here I've got it marked I don't know where they're at right now but uh, I this one was full but it was rusted so I had to spray some <clears throat> spray some uh, oil on the pellets to clean them up but uh, that's pretty cool. And also he found this article and knows I like the Remington 500s and some uh, tips and tricks on how to uh, tune those up a little bit better. That's pretty cool. And then the, uh, the owner of the store actually uh, said, hey, I got something for you. And uh, he brings this over and hands it to me and says, there you go, it's free. It was actually brought into the store I guess by the police, he said. Um, but what we have here is something actually pretty cool. This is a, uh, and I'll take a picture of this uh, roll stamp here. <clears throat> this is a Daisy number 101 model, single shot. And uh, this was made in Plymouth, Michigan. So um, I did a little bit of research. And from what I can find, these were made for a fairly short amount of time. Uh, started in 1936 and ran till 1942 when uh, Daisy shut down production uh, for to help out with the war effort. Uh, I did put a little oil down the barrel, but uh, I did play around with it a little bit beforehand and it's just something wrong with the, with the sear and the trigger engagement and it's just not catching. But uh, I mean, it feels like Feels like there's a piston working in there, but uh, it's pretty cool. I'll tear it down. The stock's in pretty rough shape, uh, but I may have something, another one of these around that's pretty tough that I could uh, swipe the stock off from. So we'll play around with that a lot more in the future. Maybe a, another uh, <clears throat> another winter project. <laughs> I'm starting to get them stacked up around here, but uh, the kind of cool coup de gras of the today's bring homes is <laughs> this stopped in another store just down the road and they had this and uh, it is still factory sealed factory sealed uh, this box has never been opened um, I believe that what's inside is what's pictured on the front here and if that's the case then this particular item was made between 1988 and uh, 2001. In 2001, the Model 66 started using the uh, little pellet clip that uh, you see on a lot of these newer Crossmans now. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to break the seal. You guys are probably cringing, oh, don't do it. But uh, you know me, I don't have any safe queens. If I bring one home, it's got to get shot. So we're going to break this open, and we're going to see what it looks like. Uh, who knows if it even works, right? It's at least 21 years old, if not... Uh, let's see if I can get this open without tearing the box, though. There we go, yeah, nice. Let's see, 88 would be... 98, 2008, 18... 34 years old. So there is 
original packing. Comes with a little Bushnell scope. Nothing but the best. <laughs> Instructions, a little thing of Pell oil there. <laughs> Another little packing material. We'll save all that stuff. So this is <clears throat> it even has a wire tie going around it to tell if you've unpacked it and used it for a <laughs> at all so let's see here I got a pair of snips up here we can cut this wire tie so really I mean this looks like kind of maybe the big brother for the Ooh. the pump cup is come loose from the pump rod here so it's gonna take a little bit of TLC probably uh, it's probably st just stuck in there but anyway we'll uh, we'll work on this a little bit more down the road and, and get this brand new guy up and running uh, it's not terrible you just got to take take this little screw out here and this whole piece will come or you got I think you got to take this uh, roll pin out as well and then that whole piece will come out and uh, I can get the, the pump cup. I think I have another pump cup right over here for, for these newer models. Anyway, even if that one's not good. But uh, there you go, brand new. First time it's seen light of day for <laughs> at least a couple decades. Uh, these are pretty cool. They're, uh, they're like a, they're kind of an in-between model for the, from the 760. Uh, and in between that and like the, oh, what's this other one I got over here? Oh, don't fall. This other one I got over here is a, a 766. So it's kind of an in-between model for that. Looks like it's almost identical as far as receiver length. A lot of parts shared between the two. The pump handles a good bit longer and uh, well maybe not yeah, I guess it is <clears throat> but I just I once I saw that it was still factory sealed I, I knew I just had to have it but the good thing is the uh, <clears throat> so I had done a little bit of uh, work for that that store actually a couple of months ago and uh, they still owed me a little bit of money for that work that I did and uh, I ended up uh, bargaining with the uh, owner and he gave that to me for that little bit of money left that he had still owed to me so technically uh, and all this other stuff was given to me so technically today's all of today's bring homes are uh, zero out-of-pocket uh, cost to me <clears throat> so <laughs> anyway there you go I uh, hope you liked the video. If you did, like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell. You'll be notified when I do post up new videos. Stay tuned for this to be working. See you next time. Alrighty, friends. Real quick update for you. I'll put this at the end of the, uh, the Bring Home video because I don't feel like doing a separate video on it just for to show you guys. But uh, the, uh, the 66... Um, real quick fix, uh, I just took out that screw and that roll pin and uh, actually the, just, I don't know, tapping on it caused the, uh, <clears throat> the pump cup to come loose along with it and it actually came right out with it. Got a little oil on it and this thing is pumping up just nice. Uh, I did throw the little Bushnell scope on there and we're just playing around with it across the garage. So do one shot and uh, wrap it up. I'll throw this at, like I said I'll throw this at the end of the uh, the bring home video we'll do a we'll do a full review on this guy in a another video another time but 
shooting good. Needs a little bit more zeroing, but uh, I did get to use my uh, my new laser magnetic laser bore sighter. Shoot, and it worked really good. Got me within uh, within an inch of uh, perfectly zeroed. <clears throat> so that's all you can really ask for. And then you just a uh, couple little minor adjustments, and you'll be right back on again so anyway back to the video <laughs> 